In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the ChatGPT app on your Mac. The first thing we need to do is to open our web browser, and then you want to navigate to openai.com and I'll leave this link to in the description below. From here, you want to click on the ChatGPT option in the left-hand sidebar, and then you want to click on Download yet again in the sidebar. Once you're on the download page, you want to scroll down, and then you want to find where it says download for Mac OS and tap on that. Now you want to go ahead and save the installer to your Mac, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. So now we've downloaded the installer, you just want to go ahead and open it up. And then you'll be greeted to this install screen. You simply want to drag the ChatGPT logo into your applications folder. Now for a couple of seconds you hear an install noise and then it will be successfully installed to your Mac. So we can exit out of the installer you can go ahead and delete it from your Mac if you'd wish to do so. Just remember to eject the virtual disk drive from your Mac as well, so I'm going to do this from my Finder. So now we've installed ChatGPT, you just want to go ahead and open the application, just as you normally would, so I'm going to open it through the launchpad. You get this prompt, so you want to click open, and when ChatGPT launches for the first time, it will look like this. So you want to go ahead and log into your ChatGPT account, so I'm going to click the login button. When you log into ChatGPT for the first time, you'll be taken to the prompt screen, which will look like this. So now we can go ahead and start using ChatGPT, just as we normally would. If you want to access your chat history, you want to click on the menu icon in the top left hand corner, and then you'll see a list of all of your recent chat histories. So you want to tap on one, and then again, you can start using it, just as you normally would. You can also access ChatGPT by using the shortcut option and spacebar, and then you can go ahead and type in your prompt. You can also do the same thing by clicking the ChatGPT logo in the top system menu. And that's it, so if this video is helpful please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.